So since 1974, FIFA is using this trophy, and we as the Coca-Cola company, we're the only ones who are allowed and have the pleasure to tour this around the world before the event starts in Russia. What does it mean to you personally to be a part of this uh, trophy tour, especially oh, here in the NBA? It's amazing. I, I, I love it. It's actually my first tour already, and you get to see so much of the world. Uh, and it doesn't matter if you land in a smaller country or in a big country like the US. There's so much passion and excitement for football, for soccer, for the FIFA World Cup, and that's what we're trying to get across. So whilst not everybody has the chance to get to a FIFA World Cup match in Russia, we're trying to get as many people as possible to stand next to the trophy and have their photo taken as a memory and get them ready for the 2018 FIFA World Cup. Were you a soccer fan growing up? Did oh you yeah. play soccer? Uh, yeah, I love it. So I'm from the Netherlands. Unfortunately, my country is not in the FIFA World Cup this time. So I wanted to cheer for the US, my new country. I'm living here now. Uh, unfortunately, the US is not in the in the FIFA World Cup. So now I'm going to cheer for Colombia. My wife's Colombian, so that's what I do. But yeah, I, a lot of uh, a lot of us from the team have a big passion for football. Um, and it's even nicer when you see when you tour around the world. You see the passion of the people, and you're bringing something which means a lot to them. Uh, so again, if the smallest country or the biggest country, everybody loves the trophy, and that's why we love what we're doing. Yeah. Do you ever get to touch the trophy or just look at it? Unfortunately not. <laughs> so there's this rule in place by FIFA that only heads of states or former winners are allowed to hold and touch a trophy. So you and I, we either have to join the winning team, which is probably not going to happen anymore, or we become the heads of state. And so there's a chance. As a head of state, <laughs> we have a chance. Um, so this time on the trophy tour, we already visited around 20 heads of states, uh, and they love uh, welcoming us on the tour because yeah they're the only ones in their country unless they won the FIFA World Cup before they're the only ones in the country who are allowed to hold and touch the trophy so this also brings a little bit of magic uh, around what we're doing uh, and makes it even more special for people to get up close to the trophy yes. and what makes uh, Coca-Cola the, the right official drink for uh, the World Cup trophy American? we have so much passion for sports um, and I think what we're doing with this trophy tour is to get the people ready for the FIFA World Cup and uh, you know have them uh, have a memory of the FIFA World Cup trophy itself uh, and I think that mix is just fantastic so the excitement uh, mixed with the coca-cola beverages I think that's what we want to achieve with this tour today. what do you think about coca-cola's open happiness uh, campaign are you gonna still be continuing that into FIFA or is that, that was so, so the 2018 FIFA World Cup campaign is about getting the fans ready for uh, the, the FIFA World Cup and I think the tour is the uh, absolute uh, best thing to start the anticipation to the FIFA World Cup. So it's a different campaign and that's the campaign we, we have now for the 2018 FIFA World Cup. What city are you heading to now? So we, today in New York City, tomorrow we go to Miami and then we go to LA where we're all super excited because in LA we have two days for the fans. So everybody who wants to come by LA Live, Thursday, Friday, you're all welcome to come by to our event. Sounds awesome. Thank you.